Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on um, Backchat. Backchat is um, it's sort of it's a YouTube channel, but it's it's sort of like a show here in the UK of young people coming together to discuss um, their views on life and relationships. And so far, there's been three episodes, but I just want to focus on the show in general. And um, I'm gonna begin by talking about Esther. Um, I think it was so brave of Esther to actually come out on a platform like that and admit that she has had plastic surgery because it's definitely something that not a lot of people do. Um, you have to give her props for that, especially as a black woman. Um, as she said, she's not afraid of it. She just comes out personally for me. I'm against plastic surgery because I feel like plastic surgery is a reflection of an internalization of the society's expectations of what it means to be beautiful. Now, you can argue with me on that or not, but what I do find interesting in, um, in the whole Esther argument is the fact that the guys were saying that they wouldn't wife her because she's had surgery. And I think that's, I don't know, I don't know if that's a problem, but I feel like it's a bit biased. You can't say that a woman is not a wife for material just because she's had body enhancement or plastic surgery. Fixing something that you want to fix, to fix it because you want to um, adapt to the society's expectation of what it means to be beautiful. Um, that doesn't make you a less of a woman than anybody else. It just means that, sim simple, you don't like something in your body, you don't like the way God has created you and you want to change it, period. Uh, actually, in the show, I have a favorite. There's this girl called um, Azariah. I don't, sorry, I don't know if that's how you say your name, but her name begins with AZ and let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, this girl speaks sense. Oh my God, I love her level of reasoning. I love the way she talks. I love the way she articulates herself. She often goes straight to the point. She doesn't really speak just to be heard. She speaks when it's time to speak. And I like people like that because when people are really loud, sometimes I don't get along well with people who are really, really loud and like to talk all the time. Um, but yeah, but yeah, Azariah, yeah, Azariah, like, again, with the way she talks and she knows how to articulate her point. She understands how to um, have a coherent argument. She, I like, yeah, Azariah, I like uh, Chioma as well, definitely. She came out of her shell the last, um, the last episode, which was some, which was really, really good. Um, and the city is amazing. Uh, honey, oh god, honey, <laughs> honey, honey, honey. <laughs> I'm laughing because she got so offended when the guys um <laughs> called her sad chick. But, honey, you put yourself out there, so you have to be ready to receive whatever criticism that you're going to get anyway. <laughs> Honey girl, I love her though. She's a pretty girl. She's a very pretty girl. Um, who else am I missing now? Who else am I? Yeah, of course Esther. Um, who's very bold, very confident, and who's not afraid to speak her mind. But me personally, Azariah is my girl. Like I just love the way she talks. Like I like someone that reasons, someone who's intelligent. Like just when she speaks, it's like like everything is just making sense. She doesn't just talk randomly. Everything makes sense. And when it comes to the guys, Lucas. Ha! Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I swear. <laughs> Lucas is a Yoruba one, I swear. Like, even yeah, in the comments, I actually said it. Lucas, I do like Lucas. Um, I definitely think he has a lot of points, but then he's very African, even though he was born and raised there. Well, I think he was. Um, you can tell that his childhood, which, and as um, with many other young black Africans as well, when you're surrounded with so many Africans around you, you tend to adopt certain mentalities. So I definitely think that's what ha that's what happens to him, and that's that has had a major influence on how he thinks, on how he looks at the world, because your upbringing really affects the way you look at the world. Um, so I definitely think that's him. But he does talk sense. He's very intelligent. I must say he is. Um, I do think he's intelligent. He knows how to articulate his points well. Although sometimes he says things that people. <laughs> <laughs> don't agree with it at all um but i i uh, i do like his point on during the second episode of the show they were talking about paying for the first paying for the first date and he said that people need to pick and choose 
um, if you want to be a feminist and campaign for the equality of the sexes, which is what a feminist is, then you can't really be expecting a man to pay for your food. You have to pick and choose, which I strongly believe believe in. So um, I do think like he has made some man, many good points, but sometimes he speaks, he makes some points that reflect the the whole African mentality or you know typical I think he's Nigerian I'm not sure but he does talk like an, a Yoruba man Yoruba demon ha um Gogo definitely I like I think Gogo is my favorite guy favorite guy on the show um again very intelligent has a mind of his own I like when a man has a mind of his own when a man can think for himself when a man can decide for himself I like when a man is a free thinker a man who is not afraid for his opinions and and views to be challenged by others I love that and I think that's what Gogo is um again his views very his views are very coherent he knows how to talk um I think I I actually agree with most of his op views and opinions and a lot of things. I can't remember any any on top of my head right now, but I definitely agree with a lot of the things that he says. Um, biscuit is another one that I I'm 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 sorry if you if you like biscuit, good for you. Me personally, he's not my cup of tea because to me he's a child. Like how dare you come on a platform like that and trying to diss a girl saying, oh, you're not even a 10 out of 10. Who are you? Are you Maurice Chestnut? Ka, ka, ka. Eh, you're not even the fat out of 10. That's why I put in the comments. <laughs> Go and read my comment. That's why I had to write in the comments. My dear, you, you're not even a four out of 10. You're there talking nonsense. Ah. Go and pack yourself somewhere, Jory. But his views on women and what it means to be beautiful is actually um, a reflection of what the society's expectations of how, of, what a pretty woman looks like because nowadays you know it's about the beyonce's the kim kada okay the beyonce is, is natural well still the beyonce's the jennifer lopez Nicki minaj um kim kardashian like this whole um you know you know what did they call it again right the figure eights like you know um flat tummy big bum big boobs and if you don't have that then you're not pretty and i do think it's a problematic mentality definitely because what that does is that it gives a lot of girls insecurities and when girls can't really um see people that look like them in mainstream media hence that's why they resort to plastic surgery because they are they because because yeah, the society is already telling them that the way they are that's not that the way they are is not the right way that there's something wrong with them there's something wrong with how god created them and with men like you biscuits you are one of the problems why girls get plastic surgery. You are one of the problems why girls have many insecurities today. So, well, I actually heard that they're attacking him on social media. Good, attack him. He needs to feel the pain of 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 what he had the he had the nerve to go and say on social media. Sorry, to go and say on a platform like that. But again, so I definitely think that that statement was wrong. But even in general, biscuits, I don't like the way this guy talks, man. I, like I don't agree with any of his views like I mean he's a man but it's like when he talks I don't feel the oomph I don't feel the passion or someone who knows who has a strong sense of will I don't feel that when he talks I don't feel um that I'm listening to a man who is intelligent and mature what I feel like I'm listening to is a child, someone who is still in that boy phase, even though he's grown, he's still in the boy phase, his mentality is oh, backwards. <laughs> Biscuit, I think your mentality needs to be changed, it needs to be polished. Um, because that kind of mentality can actually do a lot of, uh, of, 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 of damage to young girls growing up today, for example. When they watch things like that, what, how does that make you look? Exactly, and it's 2016, Biscuits, get with the time. Nobody cares. Okay, Big Boom's more, yes, but speaking about Chioma, who is an Igbo girl, Igbo finest, Igbo queen, hey! <laughs> um, she's an Igbo girl, she's a, she's a pretty woman. To me, she's pretty, like, everyone there is pretty anyway, but for you to make that um, statement there was just uncalled for. But anyway, so there was an, um, there was um one of the episodes, I think it's the second one, that they discussed um, um, paying for the first date sort of thing. And um, Azariah, my girl, she said that if she initiated the date, then she would pay. Nisiti, 
went on to say that um she is a bit more traditional so she expects the guy to be which is fair enough as with many girls today in the society they expect um they expect guys to pay for them and a lot of guys do expect to pay like if i'm going on a date i bring money you know you just don't you is to me it's just common knowledge that bring money don't expect people to pay for you but i understand it in that sense um you're a bit traditional and and all of that you want a guy to pay and you know treat you like a queen but at the same time you have to pick you have to pick a side and I, yeah and yeah and i think that's where i i call azariah i think she's a feminist because she the way she talks and the way she reasons in that episode really reflects someone who believes in the equality of the sexes who doesn't believe that a man is above him because let me tell you something now all you girls going out there saying oh the man needs to pay for me he needs to have a car he needs to have this hmm? they'll get into the marriage and the man will be treating them like pounded jam pounding <laughs> because you're nothing because automatically you have it in your head that the guy is above you so he can use and dump you and use you like rag anyhow he wants i mean of course that's not the case in every case but you know um i definitely think that you can't have your cake and eat it as a woman well i'm not a woman but with women um i definitely think that if you go on a date you should bring your money but i do think to be honest with you i think anyone can pay it doesn't really matter but I agree with Azariah. If you initiated the date, you should pay because you wanted to take me out. You want me to meet you. You took it upon yourself to make an effort to reach out to me to meet you in a public space, in a private space, wherever it is. And I don't understand this whole, uh, uh, if I take you on an expensive date, then automatically you're, you're going home with me. Seriously, that's a stupid mentality to have. I'm sorry, but I don't know. That's just what I think. Um, oh, but the white guy, oh my god, I love the way he thinks as well. Um, wait, I think his name is Will. Yeah. Again, and actually, he made a very good point on he doesn't have sex on the first date. We need more men like that. He's a gentleman. Um, the show is interesting. I definitely look forward to watching more episodes. As I said, Azariah is my girl. Gogo, I like his point of view. I like the way he talks. He has, um, like, well, again, a sense of free will in a weird way that he just talks but he talks his mind he like he doesn't let um his opinions be affect um to be affected by what the other panel members are saying as with biscuit anyway um but yeah um that's what i think about this show and i definitely look forward to watching more episodes um yeah so i'll see you next time make sure you make sure you subscribe to my channel and keep it locked with me <laughs> but yeah i really really enjoyed the show and i hope you did too